Don Blank, it's your boy Yank. Welcome to the Google Comment Show. Hope you're doing well because we're having a fantastic freaking day. Uh, you guys know me, and you know that I used to have an ex at work at Starbucks, and that is kind of where I I love coffee. So, again, I'm gonna recap the story because again, I think it's interesting. My father was a big coffee drinker. My mom was a big coffee drinker. That was I was more with my father as a kid, um, and of course, seeing my father um, drinking coffee as a kid, I wanted to mimic it. So when I did have coffee, it was amazing. Um, but it wasn't the fact that I was loving coffee. It wasn't a, a, a very specific love of coffee. It was just like, hey, I enjoy coffee. I enjoy drinking coffee, right? And then my girlfriend or my ex-girlfriend working at Starbucks made me discover the true beauty of coffee. Made me understand what is this coffee? Why is this, uh, what is the pro of this coffee? The con of this coffee? Why is this one more enjoyable? How do you make this one? And Starbucks... Have been really good lately, um, but Starbucks is a bit pricey. So when they end up giving me a product like this one, that is semi semi new, because you can see the um, the new here. There's a fucking crack. There's a raven making noise. There's a neighbor making noise. Oh my god, dude! I want to make some good content for you guys. So of course I, uh, it it bothers me. I could go in, but what is gonna happen? What are we gonna do? Fuck you. Fuck you. I, I, I need to throw something at it. Sorry about this. Doesn't work. Oh. I could go in. Oh, but I, I wanna do some videos outside. Okay, so you have to deal with it. I'm so sorry. Uh, so, yeah, so. <laughs> see how easy it is to make me unfocus? I'm gonna go crazy. So, problem solved. Yeah? Uh huh. Good. So, we have a um, double shot Starbucks caramel coffee. So, we know that we had the vanilla, we had the chocolate. Now, let's have the caramel. Um, I'm looking stable when I and I like that. I'm sorry. I'm just very focused on the audio, and it's already hard enough for me to focus. Um, that I wanted to be perfect. Without further ado, the smell is amazing. You, there's a really strong smell of caramel, and you say, okay, well, of course it's a caramel drink, but it's a nice, it's a nice caramel smell. It's almost a not so not, not much a buttercup. It is. I'll be. It's um. The pudding, the pudding of a caramel, uh, a caramel pudding. What am I saying? See, and focus. Um, shut the fuck up, dude. I'm so sorry. There we go. We chased it away. It was closer than you think. It was kind of close. There you go. Done. Thank you. So yeah. So now we can focus. It is. It's. It smells like a coffee, a caramel pudding, uh, with the coffee. First of all, the actual, the actual design of it is fantastic. I know the fact that we have caramel, the color of caramel, the caramel of coffee. I mean, I don't have a lot of taste. See, I dropped it. Oh my God. This is embarrassing. We've been having a, a mouse issue in the building. So we put some trap. And uh, I had a trap, and I'm not used to having a trap in my house, of course. I don't. Think, I didn't see a mouse, to be honest. I didn't see a mouse, but there, there's some in the building. I have some leftover mouse trap from September. So we do have this. Look at this shit. Yeah. Is it still good? Still good. Last year, huh? Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? So last try. I mean, <laughs> I would prefer the more of a bitterness out of the, I would have preferred less bitterness out of the coffee uh, because the caramel in itself is a bit bitter. The coffee is a bit bitter, so there's no balance. It's a harmony of bitterness. And I know what you, when you drink a coffee, you're supposed to have bitter. When I drink a coffee, like for example, at Starbucks, when I drink a coffee at home, I'll drink an instant coffee. Right? It doesn't matter how sweet it is, I'll drink it. But when I drink outside, I want a sweet coffee. And the caramel in my head was sweet. 
Um, so it's good, but it's not amazing. It is okay. I mean, as far as it goes, in Starbucks goes, I think it's a bit on the disappointing side. But it doesn't mean that it's bad. Like, you guys remember that we had the chocolate and the vanilla, and those two were better than this. The same text is... Okay. Again, not something I would buy again. It's funny because the bullshit we had, chocolate and vanilla, and I don't think those two were better. If I had to buy again, I'd possibly buy vanilla or chocolate, and not caramel. I don't think it's because it's bad, it's because it's less. It's, it's, it's not as nice as the coffee. As a, I'm sorry, my, my hands are disgusting. I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'm very unfocused today, as you can notice. Uh, but long story short, I think it's pretty good. I think the uh, coffee is nice. The caramel could be sweeter, but it's not a big deal. I wouldn't buy again because it's better out there. But if there's nothing better and I feel like having some Starbucks, I'm not gonna pass on into it because, oh, it's caramel. See, out of the tree is my least favorite of the tree. And that's pretty much it. Love you guys.